5 Kilobyte Productions presents a special recorder, the Docorder model PT36BX. Here is the operating manual for this machine. It's quite a classic from Japan. Let's show some more in the manual here. Opens up. Showing putting the batteries and about recording and all that kind of stuff. And um, how to splice. And on the back here we have the schematic. Over here it's got the specs. Some of the noting specs are DC bias, magnet erasing, and the frequency response 200 to 5 kilohertz, which is very poor. But um, my machine does still work well off original parts and still records as it should. And this is where the manual can be kept. I have several manuals in here, including the gram deck, etc. Anyway, here's the recorder. It's a very neat recorder. It uses five transistors. And of course, as I mentioned before, DC bias. It uses up to three and a half inch reels and it has two speeds, three and two fourths inches per second and one and seven eighths inches per second. Here's the original microphone. And um, it has a little thing that comes down, you know, so you can stand it on a desk or whatever. And um, here's an interesting thing about this recorder is when you change the batteries to change the batteries well you flip it over and you'd be thinking okay now where's the battery cover of course you'll see here here's the microphone storage compartment and here's some of the information right here but you're thinking where's the battery cover at I don't see it anywhere well here it is you pop that little thing right there and you pull the case apart to actually take apart the machine and see the entire inside to replace the batteries. I'm sure nowadays safety regulations would make that a big no-no because of the uh, 120 volt or 220 volt depending on which you set it by changing the fuse but the mains wiring right there. But the batteries, 4D batteries, go right there and um, so it makes it extremely easy to take apart and of course as I shown before these two fuses are well not two fuses but two fuse holders with one fuse in one of them with the fuse in this one where it is it's for 110 to 117 volt operation for the fuse in the other fuse holder it's 220 to 240 volt operation so it's international voltage machine although it does not have a 100 volt setting for the Japan voltage, but then again it would probably run fine at 110 setting in Japan, I would imagine. So batteries are AC of course. And down here you can see the small circuit board. Here you can see the circuit board. It's pretty small. And a single motor and flywheel, which you'll notice spins freely when I turn it. Because whenever it's in stop mode, a rubber piece on the motor shaft presses up against the rewind table and whenever it's put in play the motor swings over and another rubber piece on the motor shaft presses up against the flywheel and runs it in a rim drive capstan way because it actually runs the flywheel by a rim drive system and then the take up reel is turned by the motion of the pinch roller through a spring belt you notice they just use a small speaker in there. They could have used a larger one, like an oval one, but they use that round speaker there. But anyway, it's a very simple system. Probably the simplest or one of the most simple capstan drive ones I've ever seen. Okay, so anyway, you got to see how the batteries went in and some of the inside and the basic description of how the transport mechanism operates. So now. Without further ado, let's do some recording and playing back and that kind of thing.
Okay, well here's the microphone of course, and um, with a little on-off switch. And um, microphone plug has the microphone plug and this kind for the remote. So let's plug it in. Yeah, I didn't mention earlier, but this machine has automatic level control. Now that we have made a recording, we will rewind. Take note that it has the audio come in quietly through the speaker as you rewind. Also take note that the head, that the tape is not moved away from the head and rewind. So therefore the head is subject to more wear. Playback. And now, the machine is in record mode. Oh yeah, I didn't mention earlier, this machine has automatic level control. Or, as it says here, a GC for automatic gain control. Volume control, of course, then has no effect on the record level. And it does not have fast forward, it just has rewind, stop, and play. We're recording at 3 and 4 inches per second on the dough quarter. PT36BX, real to real tape recorder. And I want to give a shout out to the real master because in one of his name that recorder video from a while back, amongst the pictures of recorders was a picture of the same model Doe Quarter machine, although it didn't have the head cover on it. And uh, I have a question for you, real master. Um, do you still have the dough quarter, or did you, or did you get rid of it? Like, did you throw it away, or what happened to it? I thought I heard it didn't work or something. But it's definitely, if it doesn't work, it definitely should be a fixable machine if you still have it in your collection. I, I hope you didn't get rid of it or anything, because it's a neat old recorder. But anyway, so that's a uh, shout out to the real master. I also give another shout out, of course, to Amparillo Bun B because he gave me this recorder. Thank you very much. And um, I also give a shout out to Clyde Sight because Clyde Sight with the um, his crown quote unquote Tupperware tape recorder with the Tupperware type plastic. This recorder also has that Tupperware type plastic. Believe it or not, it's nice, soft, and flexible. And I appreciate the the engineers deciding to use that plastic when they made this machine because it makes it more impact resistant and more durable. So um, that's always a plus. To make it more resistant to its cracks. Now speaking at more of a distance to the microphone, and now we're going to speak go across the room. Now speaking across the room, to see how good the dough quarter picks up sound. By the way, I'm coming back closer now. By the way, the dough quarter is um, dough quarter is another n name given by the company, the Dinky Onkyo Company of Japan. So, um, if you see like an Onkyo cassette deck or something by Onkyo, it's just, I think it's the same company as this dough quarter, which is Onkyo. So anyway, I um, hope you enjoyed this voice recording and three and four inches per second. Of course you can notice there is a whole lot of that DC bias hash noise in the audio which is always the downside of DC bias isn't just the S this one's S is fine but also that hash noise. Now I'll be showing how it records music. But before that let's give a shout out to Cool Dude Klim and Cool Dude Klim will get to hear his voice through this recorder. On this resistor here, then that is fed into this other transistor which just um, ups the current a little bit. And that goes through the coil of the transformer. And because the voltage is I was playing with changing, the YouTube that will volume. Uh, expanding and collapsing magnetic field, which generates another. And then music.
If you really, really, really want to hear how it sounds at one and seven eighths, send a request and I'll make a video at some time of it at one and seven eighths, but only by request. I hope you enjoyed the video of the Onkyo, the Dell Quarter PT36BX.